Is FreeCAD hard to learn? Is it even worth learning? What exactly is it? Who is it for? And my own personal experience of learning FreeCAD. All that and a little bit more is what I want to cover in this video. So grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, listen to me talk, and then I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. So is FreeCAD hard to learn? The short answer is no. The long answer is we need to split this up into two questions, which is, is parametric modeling hard to learn? Which I would say no, parametric modeling is not hard to learn, especially if you come from Fusion 360 or some other parametric modeling program, you already know it at that point. And then we've got FreeCAD itself. Is it hard to use? I wouldn't say it's hard to use, I would say it's not intuitive. The user experience or the user interface isn't exactly sort of willing to be learnt easily. It is all there and you do learn it and it works beautifully, but it sort of reminds me of Blender, an organic modeling program about three years ago. Nobody wanted to use it because it was just so clunky and we're sort of at that point right this minute. It's the workflows within FreeCAD that aren't fluid enough sometimes to feel like it's easy to learn. With that said, is it worth learning? Absolutely. Especially if you've never gone ahead and learned anything before, you know that if you learn something within FreeCAD, you're gonna go ahead and be able to use the skills you develop here in any other sort of parametric program out there as well. So it's very much worth learning. And for those of you that come from a parametric program into it, well, you're gonna have pretty easy time really, to be honest. The only thing is you're gonna have to little bit of fighting around with the UI, understanding different words that are used, different concepts that might be shown in a different way, and also exactly where things are. But apart from that, you really will get on perfectly well with it. So what exactly is FreeCAD and who is it for? So the word that I've been saying a lot is parametric. And what do I mean by that? Parametric is basically you're going to have a sketch. Let's say it's the outline of this little desk hook that I've created. Well, the outline of this, we would give it, tell it its length, we would tell it the radius of all these curves, we would tell it the height here, we would tell it everything about this. So then if at any point I wanted to change this, I would then be able to go back in and just change one little number and that would change that entire thing straight away. As you can see, it's pretty awesome because you can go ahead and make changes really quickly. It can also be a little bit of a hindrance because if you're wanting to just do something very quickly, you have to put in every single angle, every single constraint, every single everything before you can really get on with the rest of the design, which is good sometimes and bad in other cases. It's very much dependent on the project. Now, the other thing I want to say is, I wouldn't say FreeCAD is for anybody who wants to go ahead and create sculptures, like this little Groot head here. This isn't exactly the use case for FreeCAD. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you can't do sculptish like things within FreeCAD. For instance, this here, not created in FreeCAD, created in Blender, but using just an expression. So this here is pure maths. So it's a mathematical expression in 3D you can go ahead and do this within something like FreeCAD. Now, I wouldn't say it will be easy because things like this will be very easy within FreeCAD. Technically, it would be quite easy within Blender too, but within FreeCAD, you can go ahead and create some sort of weird script to be able to make this any size you want whenever you want it. But making something like this would be a little bit trickier within FreeCAD. I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm saying it's tricky. So find the right program that you're wanting. If you're looking for more organic based sort of things, head over to Blender. I've got a full course and it's linked down in the description. And I haven't gone into organic modeling there, but if you learn everything in there, you'll see how it applies to organic modeling really quickly. But then now back to FreeCAD. That's what it's for. These things, which is basically functional design. When you can create functional design that works for you, 
then you're perfectly fine with it. On top of that, the key thing here that you're wanting to learn FreeCAD for is to basically be able to change things up very quickly, very easily. Let's say all of a sudden I needed the wall thickness of this to be thicker. All I have to do is change one number and the whole design has changed. And that would be a little bit more convoluted in other programs. So that's where I'm basically trying to get with that. All right, now for my own learning experience of FreeCAD. I would say that it was all right. And because I've come from sort of a 3D background, so I know Fusion 360, I know Rhino, I know Maya, I know Blender, it was actually very easy. Well, when I say easy, everything was easy apart from the user interface. The user interface just took a little bit of a, I don't know, it, it's not that it's not great, it does work beautifully, it just doesn't look good and doesn't work the way you want it to sometimes. It's just a little bit strange, but you, you yourself will figure this out. So what I went ahead and did is I set myself a time limit of three hours to go ahead and learn FreeCAD. And as you can see here, I went ahead, started a timer, and I already had a couple of videos that I wanted to look at. So those videos are gonna be linked down in the description. Go ahead and use those. I'm also going to go ahead and create my own course, a crash course of FreeCAD in the next coming weeks. So that's either in the card or down in the description as well. So let's go ahead. From here, I basically learned how to make the user interface look a little bit easier on my eyes. And that was what I really wanted to make sure that I could understand is what I was seeing because I didn't like this gradient background. I didn't like a whole bunch of things going on. But then past that, once I learned the real fundamentals, then it was just sort of parametric design. So a place that I've been before many times over. So at that point, I went, you know what? I'm just going to jump straight into my own model. So I went ahead and I put in my own model or I can't remember. I either did my own model. Or I went ahead and did a different parametric design program. So then I went ahead and did my own model. And then from there, I went and just made it. And put frankly, it's easy to learn. Now, I'm not saying that I've learned everything. There is way too much to learn in this program because it is so feature rich. It's incredible to think this program has only been made by a very small team of people creating this completely free, completely open source, and it is incredible. Speaking of which, I want to talk about where exactly I feel FreeCAD is right this minute and where I think it's going. And I'm going to reference Blender once again here. Blender was at that point about two years ago where out of nowhere it got some funding. And then from this funding, it exploded in development. And because it exploded in development and the developers had time to really dedicate their efforts into it, they were able to make a much better user experience. And all of a sudden it's been adopted by almost the entire industry really. And it's turning into one of these things that people want to use now. So I see some very close similarities with FreeCAD. It's created by a small independent group doing absolutely free open source program, but they're doing it in their free time primarily by this minute. And well, with hobbyists now being pushed out of other things like the licensing problems and all that lovely stuff, I'm not going to get into it. I really do think FreeCAD is going to fill that niche, but it needs to have the support behind it. So if you want to go ahead and support FreeCAD, there's a link down in the description for it. But I really do think FreeCAD themselves eventually are going to go and get some support from other big names out there, be it manufacturing industry or who knows where, because once that gets done, FreeCAD is going to explode because I'm telling you, it has everything in it already. That's the incredible bit. It's just the user experience itself just needs to be tweaked and refined just a little bit more. And it will honestly outshine the majority of programs that are out there. So what is the point of all of this? Well, I'm learning FreeCAD to teach you guys FreeCAD itself. Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm not going to be teaching you engineering grade design. I'm going to teach you how to get started, how to use it for 3D printing, how to use it for laser cutting, and also how to mesh it in with Blender. And more than anything, the entire sort of Blender and FreeCAD 
sort of workflow between the two, making something within FreeCAD, bringing it into Blender, maybe doing some sculpting within it, and then all of a sudden the design changes and you want to bring something else in from FreeCAD and add it on, we're gonna cover that. So make sure you subscribe to go check that out when it comes out. A huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome and it means the world to me. It really is awesome to have your support. And if you're enjoying what I'm making here, you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there too. Don't forget that we have a Discord and that's linked down in the description. Thank you for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.